So this is actually what uh, I will do now. Um, so in order to explain uh, um, the relation uh, with uh, RDA, I need uh, to start again from uh, which is uh, uh, the objective of uh, um, Open Air. So our objective, uh, as uh, the name of Open Air say, is uh, to build this uh, open access infrastructure for research in Europe. Mm? So the goal is uh, to create an e-infrastructure, which means uh, essentially a, a platform which provides a number of basic services that can then be used by others to build uh, new applications. So what we have now is that we have defined a number of these uh, basic uh, facilities and uh, some of them are made available through our own portal to scientists and research administrators. So there are, but this is not the only way in which uh, this facility has consumed. There are, uh, there is the possibility of programmatically accessing this uh, facility uh, in order to create application that uh, better serve uh, um, some kind of community. So you have seen, for example, yesterday, the example of GI that uh, really is interested in uh, creating its own application by exploiting the basic facility that we provide. So in order to make all this possible, what we do is that uh, we use uh, content uh, which is uh, provided uh, by a large number of different providers and uh, this content is a very different nature. So you understand uh, that, uh, so you can see from the picture how complex it is, uh, that uh, for us uh, it's really important uh, the, problem of, uh, uh, the problem of interoperability with different data sources and the problem of uh, accessing these different data sources. And so this is uh, um, the situation now. Our infrastructure is an infrastructure for supporting scholarly communication. So we expect that it will evolve uh, as uh, the requirements of uh, the scientific community evolve. So in particular, we have been discussing a lot uh, during these days uh, that there is an emerging requirement uh, that um, is coming, is the, is the fact that uh, the form of uh, scientific communication is changing. So communication means that not only that uh, you disseminate uh, something which is the result of your work, but also that uh, who received this information is able to understand uh, what he has received. So what is happening is that now in a science which is uh, more and more dominated by data, in order to understand the scientific result, uh, the paper, the text, is not enough. So there is a big movement uh, that say that in order to better understand the scientific result, you need a lot of different complementary information about the context. And so there is, uh, in the, uh, the computer science world, there, is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of initiatives uh, for defining new models for these publications. And uh, these uh, have um, different names, so I personally believe that there will be different models because uh, different uh, scientific community has different needs. So there are, for example, uh, the Elsevier article of the future, which is one example of uh, structural publication that actually has different pieces uh, put together. There is a notion of, uh, for example, uh, an answer publication that has been discussed a lot <coughs> in the context of open air, which is uh, the article uh, which is actually related to the data set uh, that has been used for producing the result. There is a notion of, uh, that we can call the live articles, that is articles that have parts that can be generated and uh, recalculated each time, for example, you access the object, uh, the, the article, or uh, for example, other form uh, like, for example, the one that are uh, uh, now promoted by my experiments, the my experiment research object that actually trace all the workflow that has been used uh, for producing a certain result. So you understand that uh, in order to uh, create this new, new object, uh, there are a lot of uh, a different kind of information that, that has to be uh, put together and combined. And uh, uh, creating this new kind of application requires to retrieve access, in some cases generate, and also understand all these elements. 
And what is more difficult is that often these different pieces are not uh, produced by the, same by the same community of the author. They've been uh, generated in other contexts because now uh, more and more uh, science is multidisciplinary. So you can create an article and relate it to something that has been produced by another community. So this uh, um, actually creates a lot of uh, um, problem related to uh, access and interoperability of data. And this is uh, one, of the, so in order to address uh, this point, uh, we are already thinking, for example, to propose uh, in the context of RDA a, a proposal for uh, uh, a new working group uh, that uh, will try to address uh, which are the basic services that an infrastructure should provide for facilitating the publishing and in the, or at modest or no cost to the authors, because this is the focus of an infrastructure for this new kind of, applica of publications. So what we want to address in this working group is actually what are the basic facilities that an infrastructure should provide in order, for example, for an editor of a new journal uh, for this type of object to be able to uh, create uh, this new publication or have an, and have an application that supported the editing of this new kind of application with uh, a, a minimized cost. Mm? So this is uh, one example of uh, the kind of working group that uh, we could propose, uh, we, we are discussing to propose in the context of RDA. Uh, concerning uh, the, the contribution, other contribution that we, we can, we as Open Air can can give uh, to open air. Uh, let me say that in, in uh, RDA, there are many, um, as you have seen, uh, candidate working group related to technology. So we have been uh, um, implementing uh, the technology that is behind open air since 2004. So in this period, uh, uh, we have a lot of lessons learned. So we know, uh, so it is not only a theoretical um, knowledge, we have also done it in practice, uh, so we know uh, what it works, uh, we know also what it doesn't work. And so in this sense, I think that the, the Open Air Consortium can really give uh, a, a, an important input to RDA. And here I have listed a number of uh, candidate uh, working groups uh, where I think that uh, we can uh, um, participate, uh, bring in, uh, which has been our experience. So there are, uh, for example, registers of various type, uh, metadata framework, uh, the notion of data as a service, uh, all the different approaches to interoperability. And I've also mentioned one uh, working group which was proposed by um, a person, uh, Ian Foster, which is actually one of the fathers of the grid, uh, but I think that this is very interesting. It's, uh, the title is uh, Overcoming Data Friction. And uh, the idea is that uh, what he's proposing is a working group that uh, um, wants to find a mechanism for simplifying the um, um, publication of uh, uh, data in such a way that it becomes more easy for all the scientists to publish this uh, data as now we do with the Dropbox. So it must be something that uh, is not uh, too complicated to do in, a, in such a way that uh, this data can really be uh, published uh, in an easy way. And also uh, we can uh, uh, really contribute to terminology and concept because we have been discussing uh, this issue since many years. Uh, the other point uh, that I want to raise uh, is uh, what we have seen uh, this morning, that there is a working group uh, in, uh, uh, candidate working group uh, in RDA, uh, which I think that uh, has a good chances to be approved. Uh, Enrique Alonso Garcia is here, one of uh, uh, the co-chair of this working group. And uh, here I have um, um, just copied some of the, the focus. Uh, some tendencies from the focus of this working group. Uh, and uh, the focus is overcoming intellectual property constraints on access and reuse uh, of research data. And uh, um, as I have understood, uh, the goal is essentially uh, to minimize uh, the legal barriers, uh, especially for public and publicly funded upstream uh, factual input, uh, 
um, that uh, uh, actually uh, the stakeholders uh, um, met when they have uh, to uh, made available their content. So to simplify as much as possible, and uh, his comment, uh, the way in which uh, uh, the, the, the issue that uh, someone that deposited the data has to overcome. Now, uh, so this is the working group. So how open air can contribute? So we have seen this morning that there is a working group, a uh, number of people that really are already working very in depth in the project, in the, in the, in the topic. And it has already been mentioned that uh, all the problems that we have uh, in, uh, uh, that we have, uh, that we are experimenting in uh, combining all the different pieces and the uses of the different pieces and uh, they are already studying uh, this problem. Uh, I want to add uh, two more points uh, and uh, that uh, actually come from uh, our experience. So what I think is that uh, we are in a context of uh, a, a data infrastructure. So a data infrastructure is an entity that was not existing before. And uh, the way in which uh, we operate uh, creates new conditions. And uh, the data providers are not ready yet, uh, so have not yet uh, understood the way in which we are using. So let me make an example. So um, we are, uh, uh, as infrastructure, we are using, uh, for example, data from aggregators. Mm? So usually, uh, the aggregators are uh, now uh, aggregating data and uh, uh, publishing them uh, through a website. Mm? And uh, in the terms and conditions, there is, uh, uh, it's precisely written, you have to, to for example, uh, explicitly decide the source where the data come. But they don't say, we have to explicit uh, cite our service that we are aggregating. So now we are gathering content from the aggregators. And most of the aggregators are uh, actually complaining because they're offering a service, which is the, aggrega the aggregation, but we don't cite them. So this is an issue that, this is an example for me that comes from uh, this different world that is uh, being raised and that was not, was, uh, was not a problem before because, uh, of course, uh, everyone was consuming the data through their own portal, so they were visible. Hmm? Another point that I want to raise is that uh, the infrastructure is uh, a new entity. So as an entity, he also needs to have policy. So who do we allow to, uh, for example, uh, use the infrastructure? So what are, uh, for example, uh, uh, the, the um, contract that we sign with our uh, providers? Which contract do we sign with other users? This is uh, still, uh, in my opinion, something that is not clear at all, huh? and uh, we need to clarify. So, it's, uh, so this is uh, an input from my side on uh, the working group and also to our uh, expert. And uh, so I wanted to conclude actually saying that uh, I have just made a, a few examples of how open air can contribute to um, RDA. I want to, to conclude saying that uh, there is another important contribution that open air can, can give, and it's related to the community that during these years uh, open air has been able to uh, aggregate. So uh, what happened uh, in open air is that uh, we have established uh, uh, links with uh, important organizations. This organization, in turn, uh, has a lot of different other contacts. Mm? So what is happening is that uh, there is a sort of, so the, pro the problem and solution that we are discussing in the context of open air uh, actually are also being spread in a lot of other different organizations. So all these organizations, in some sense, are contributing uh, directly or indirectly uh, to open air and vice versa. So I think that uh, in uh, RDA, open air can uh, bring uh, also all these different, uh, all these uh, the contribution and can involve uh, all uh, our uh, direct uh, or uh, let's say indirect uh, through sensitivity uh, organization that uh, uh, we have been uh, in some sense uh, collaborating with. So this uh, conclude my presentation. I say that uh, there are more and more, more other ideas, so I'm looking at Leif 
and I'm sure that uh, we will be able to collaborate profitably. So thank you.